So what's up, Facebook and YouTube fam? This is your boy Reg coming at you again. Marco Rubio, a rhino, a Republican in name only, introduced a bill called the Terror Intelligence Improvement Bill. And what this bill would do, it would suspend the Second Amendment rights of anyone being investigated for terrorism or terror-related offenses. So if if you uh, if you're suspected of being a terrorist or even a domestic terrorist, they will suspend your Second Amendment rights, your uh, right to bear arms, even if you're not guilty, even if your your name just comes up or pops up, they will suspend your right to bear arms until they do the uh, full investigation. So basically, you're basically guilty until proven in innocence. They will just take away your Second Amendment rights, take away your rights, right to bear arms if they consider you a domestic terrorist. Now, who would be considered a domestic terrorist? Well, if you're a Trump supporter, you would be uh, considered a de domestic terrorist. That would include me. That would include many of you. Uh, if you attended that rally in Washington, D.C. on January 6th, you would be considered a domestic terrorist. Anybody who goes against their, their agenda, you would be considered a domestic uh, terrorist. It would be real simple. The FBI can just collect names. I'm sure my name would be on that list. Your name would be on that list. You know, they can go to our Facebook pages. They can go to our YouTube pages. I always put things on there about Trump, how God is using Trump, how God used Trump to interrupt the New World Order, to slow the New World Order crowd down, how Trump is protecting our freedom of speech, our freedom of religion, our right to bear arms and all of these different things. How he moved the United States Embassy from Tel, Tel Aviv to Jerusalem and all those things. I post all that things. But anyway, I would be con considered a domestic terrorist and many of you would be. So I tried to warn a lot of y'all and uh, the Democrats would pass this. You know, the Democrats control the House. They control the Senate. And if it reaches Biden's desk, he would sign it into law in a heartbeat. This is a rhino Republican, Marco Rubio. And uh, this whole thing centers around socialism. They want to implement socialism. They want to take away your freedom of speech. We see that happening. They want to take away your freedom of religion. We're seeing that happen. They want to take take away your uh, right your your right to assemble. We see that happen. Governors are sh shutting down churches because of this COVID nineteen, and now they want to take away your right to bear arms. This all centers around socialism. The spirit of the Antichrist is operating through many of these bureaucrats, mainly Democrats, but some Republicans. And the spirit of the Antichrist is operating through all of them. And they're trying to implement socialism. And I'm, like I said on previous videos, if America surrenders to socialism, the whole entire world surrenders to socialism. America is, is, America is the economic epicenter of the world. So if America surrenders to socialism, the world will surrender to socialism. And that would pave the way for that new world order, that one world government, the one world economic system that you read about in Revelation chapter 13, verse 16 through 18, Revelation chapter 14, verse 9 through 11, Revelation 15, 2, Revelation 16, 2, Revelation 19, 20, Revelation 20, verse 4. So we need to be getting on our knees and we need to be doing some praying. Uh, if you voted for Biden, man, I tried to warn you about this stuff. And uh, if you voted against Trump, I tried to warn you, but it's not too late for you to join in prayer with the rest of us. And we got to pray that God put it in their hearts to not pass this bill, because if it's passed and it got a good chance to pass, because, again, the Democrats control both houses. Plus, you got an empty man in the suit in the White House that would just sign that bill into law. So we, we need to be praying. All right. Love you guys. About to get out of here. Talk to you later. God bless.